work on Emperor Boy. Emperor Boy. He's a very talented superstar. But right now he's getting a beat down, a ball beat down by the big man. What he does, that's what the man does, and he doesn't. He's one of those other guys. He's just like Agbar. He doesn't care. Oh. Oh. Nice elbow there, by I me. Mean, he, hey, he can wrestle too. It looks like he's a big boy. I'm telling you. One thing I wouldn't want from him is that famous meeting with friends. I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want that meeting with friends. I know. If you see the meeting with friends, it's very painful. Yeah. Yeah. Iron Boy now with him to avoid that. Jawbreaker by Iron Boy. The best. Tell me about Iron Boy. What was he? Tell me about this man. What, what, what hasn't the guy done? He's obviously half of, half of the tag team champions there. You know, I mean, he's, he's a heck of a wrestler. And he's crazy. Shots by Buddha. And now Buddha whips him off the road. Some men. Oh, and for a boy with a clothesline on Buddha there. Caught Buddha off guard. Kicked him right in the back there. Hey, I'm telling you, he may not look that sharp, but the sharpest tool in the shed. But I tell you, Emperor Boy, he definitely knows how to do what he's doing in that ring. And he will get the job done. These guys have came half a second away of becoming a Pacific Northwest Tag Team Champion. And we're talking about bad blood. Come on. Hey, Mr. Tag Team Champion himself. The thing of it is, though, is like you just said, they came within half a second from being. You, you've got Iron Buddha and me here that are Tag Team Champions, Cedric. Good point made, Alan. It's Iron Buddha using his dirty tactics, playing mind games with the referee, putting him in position the way he wants him, and doing what he wants to do to his opponent. You want to be the guy to stop these two? While I'm out here, we're at ringside enjoying all the action. Big business complaining to the referee right now. Nice tag team wrestling by the tag team. Oh, corner in that ring. And that's what you do when you're tag team champion. You cut that ring rope off. You keep that one man ring. Don't allow him to make the tag. The big man vicious. And that's how you keep. That's how you get championship. That's how you keep him. And that's how you get the referee to get turned his back on. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I am going to pick one thing for her. Because I don't know too many tag teams that are going to want to face these two here that have a set of titles and put them on the line. I'm telling you something, I tell you it takes a lot of guts. Hey, when they say no guts, no glory, now, I mean, sometimes you gotta put it out there, but sometimes you gotta know when to just come back away and say, hey, hey, look, these guys are too strong, they're too fast, I just gotta, I can't do it. We, we may be having it, but two big men in the middle of the ring, we do! Oh, it's a lot of me to ring at Big Bishop, this Big Bishop, 6'5, probably about 6'6, six, six. he's probably around 320 pounds, and then we talk about me, he's about 6'1, six, 6'2. Six, Exactly. Oh, the big man in the ring. Oh, look. oh! I, I struck out to I Oh, look at me. He's got, he's got big bitches. Big bitches means business. He kind of reminds me of a kind of Kevin Nash type of you know, wrestler, like the statue, the size, and his ability in the ring. He just bought the, uh, And now Buddha back in. Buddha doesn't care how big you are. He just wants to hurt somebody. Exactly. Oh, Buddha. Hey, Buddha. Oh. He's all about hurting people and winning the gold. Big man. He is biting everyone. 
Brandon Warren. He wants some meat. He wants some fresh meat. And he's got it in big picture. Nice shot to the back there by me. Meat's back on the apron now. Oh, and from boy to the outside, Buddha throws him out. Oh, big Bishop kicking the Buddha, the great Buddha, right into the into the stomach region. Oh, nice shot to the head by Bishop. Oh, big, big, big Bishop trying to knock Big Meat off. Nice clothesline by Big Bishop. Big, big Bishop definitely taking on both of these guys by himself. Emperor Boy on the outside of the ring there after being thrown out by, uh, by Buddha. Buddha pops in a small package right here. Oh, that one, two. two. Small package there by the Iron Buddha. I call him the Great Buddha because he is great. And he's going to work on the big man. Another one. Another small package. One, two. Oh, I'm going to kick the referee right in the head. <laughs> Iron Buddha doesn't care who's in the ring. He don't if, you're, care. if you're in this ring, he just knocked you out. He just wants to win.